Hey guys, welcome back to Animotion. In this tutorial today, I'm gonna show you how I do double exposure in After Effects. If you don't know what double exposure is, it's basically a technique in photography and cinematography where you superimpose two images into one to create this absolute stunning whole new image. This style has been going around for a while, but it's been popularized by the opening sequence of True Detective. Basically, you would want two footage. I downloaded mine from mixkit.co. It's a website where they provide free stock videos and music. This isn't an ad for Mixkit. I'm just suggesting it to you because it's been really helpful for me whenever I need a stock footage. For the first footage, you'd want something that preferably has high contrast and a white plain background. The reason why is the double exposure would be visible on the dark areas and it won't be visible on the lighter areas. But if you don't have a high contrast footage, that's okay because we can adjust that with levels later on. And as long as the background is plain, doesn't matter what the colors are, you should be all good. For the second footage, I've chosen this Brooklyn Bridge footage because it just has a lot of intricate details and the shapes are quite defined and sharp and that's exactly what I'm looking for to create this double exposure. So let's start with this footage of this person. What I'm gonna do firstly is to turn this footage into black and white. So if you look for saturation, you don't have to turn it to black and white, but I just like the look of black and white when doing double exposure. So I'm just gonna turn down the master saturation to minus 100. And then we're gonna adjust the contrast using levels. Levels. And basically we wanna make the black into really black and the white into really white. So let's start with the black first. So somewhere there it's all right. And then bring this other pointer in as well so that at least like the background is kind of like pure white somewhere there is okay i reckon and then since we're not gonna use the edge of the footage we're just gonna focus on the person so i'm just gonna mask this person somewhere there and then hit f on your keyboard to turn up the feather and then i'm gonna create a solid for the background just a white solid All right, now if we play this footage, as you can see towards the end, the camera is kind of like moving and it's kind of like a bit jittery and I don't want that. And also she's moving like quite fast and I want this double exposure to kind of have that kind of like slow motion kind of movement. I'm gonna stretch this footage out to 350. And as soon as I do that, obviously, the footage becomes really jittery. That's because the frames have been stretched out and there's no frames in between. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on this frame blending mode and then activate the frame blending on this footage by clicking on this icon right here. When you click on that once, After Effects is gonna create in between frames of the original frames, but then it doesn't really smooth it out. As you can see, it still looks jittery. You can see like After Effects is trying to create new frames, but it's just, they don't really blend in well. So you have to click on that frame blending twice until it shows this arrow icon. Now, if you preview it, now all of the frames are blended in much better. I'm quite happy with the movement and the speed. So the next thing that I want to do is to turn on this bridge footage and basically in order to create double exposure you just need a high contrasted footage on the bottom and then another footage on the top and basically you just have to turn on the mode to screen and you got double exposure. We want to make it even look more proper so I'm just going to play around with the position of the bridge and just see where it looks the best i kind of like the look of that just because like the footage is kind of like shaping her head and her head is actually not showing off i'm just gonna leave it at that 
and I am actually gonna move this mask on the person footage move it down so that it's kind of like cut off the head so if I just kind of like solo that kind of like cut off the head like that and maybe even bring up the feather a little bit yeah somewhere there is perfect and then now I want to make her face more visible so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna create a solid and then call it matte and then basically set this bridge to alpha matte for that matte all right now on the matte we're gonna create a mask on her face somewhere like that and then if you hit M and then just change the mask to subtract and now hit F and then turn up the mask feather say 200 even 300 and then I'm just gonna kind of like adjust the mask I want to make sure that the black of her hair doesn't really show so maybe actually I'm gonna turn on the mask feather to 200 somewhere like that So that's looking pretty good, but if you play this composition, her face is moving a lot. So basically, I'm gonna animate the mask and create keyframes. There's two ways where you can animate the mask. One of them is just right click on the mask and click track mask. And usually it would work if the footage is not moving too much and if the object is kind of like clear but sometimes I would just kind of like animate it manually and what I would do is to create keyframe on the very first frame of the composition and then go to the very last frame and then create another keyframe just kind of like adjust the position of the mask and then usually I would go into the middle and just make sure if the mask position is correct sometimes it's correct sometimes it's kind of like off a little bit like this so I'm just gonna adjust that and then I would go in between the first and the second keyframe and then just see if that looks all right it actually looks looks all right but sometimes it won't look all right and you can just kind of like adjust it again and I would make sure in the middle of the second and third keyframe again see if it looks all right I think that looks fine so that's working perfectly for me and the last thing i want to do actually i'm gonna add another mask on the person footage basically i'm just gonna create this kind of like straight mask and then change that to subtract so that it's kind of like cut off the front of her face so kind of like her nose and then just turn up the mask feather to say 100. it just kind of like create sort of like a highlight effect as you can see here the bridge footage is kind of like off a little bit so basically i just have to like adjust it so that it covers the whole person and that's why i created this matte layer instead of just putting the mask on the bridge footage itself so that in case we want to move around the bridge like if we're not happy with how it looks it doesn't affect the mask all right so let's go back to the person and yeah i'm just gonna create that let me see if i turn up a little bit mm, no nah. actually just turn up to mm, 100 and then just make sure okay obviously the face move over there but the face doesn't move from here to here much so i'm just gonna create start the keyframe from there create keyframe there and then on the last frame just kind of like adjust that All right, let's preview this. I'm pretty happy with this. Obviously, you can play around more with it. And there's no limit on how you can play around with double exposure. But this is basically just the basic of doing double exposure in After Effects. Thanks so much, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or if you have any suggestion on what you want me to cover for the next video, please leave it in the comments section below.
Thanks, guys.